Welcome back to Rusty Wrench Repair, everybody. Today we're going to get my trailer. We're gonna put the new winch I bought for it on it. Uh, I'm gonna figure out how I wanna mount that on there. Got a couple of different ideas, but we'll see what works best. Um, and then Wednesday of this week, I got a new pile of junk that I'm gonna go get. Um, I'm gonna be working on that. So I got some more content for you boys and girls. I'm uh, pretty excited. Got a lot of stuff going on this week. So looking forward to putting out some more videos. Um, hope you guys are looking forward to it. Um, I'm almost there. So we're going to grab my trailer and then I'll see you guys back at the garage. We got the trailer back to the garage. Decided how I want to mount this winch on here. I got everything prepped. I'll show you what I got going on, then we'll get her burned on and uh, put everything else together, get the winch mounted on the winch mount, and hopefully be able to haul some more junk home, which my wife is not too happy about. So, here we go. Alright, so here's what I got going on. I got that receiver. I'm going to weld that to the head of this trailer and then uh, this is the hitch mount for the Badland um, winches so I got a Badland Apex 12,000 pound winch I'm going to be mounting to that bad boy there and then uh, once I weld that to the trailer then I'll be able to just hook it in and unhook it that way I don't have to worry about anybody stealing it and uh, you know I can pull the, the car or whatever piece of junk I pick up you know as far up on the trailer as I can and I can pull that winch out and then pull it the rest of the way forward or whatever so all right here we go I think I'm gonna cut a piece of this bar off and I'm gonna sneak a piece right in there and then weld it across both sides there maybe give this thing a little more stability um, I think that's a good idea we're gonna do that Yeah, good enough for government work, hopefully. <laughs> All right, I'm assembling this winch mount here. I got that side done. I figured I'd bring you guys in and show you what I got going on. You know, it's from Harbor Freight, so I don't have enough hardware, of course. Hmm. I don't know if they expected you not to use washers on the front and back, on the nut side and the bolt side or what, but I would think you would want to, but what do I know? I'm not going to get excited over some washers. And the 
just sent these little plastic washers. I don't really know what good they do, but we'll use them. Sure. At least they sent me enough, or they, I have enough nuts and bolts here. This is not a paid sponsor or anything like that. I got this stuff at, stuff at Harbor Freight. They're not paying me to tell you about it. That would be nice. Hint, hint in the future, you know. It's the first time I've ever used tools or something. Alright, I mean this is pretty heavy duty. It's like quarter inch steel. Maybe even uh, almost 5 16 steel. It's, yeah, it's quarter inch. Just painted. I mean, it's, she's thick, well built. So now comes the fun part. We're gonna open up the actual winch, which I am super excited about. She's heavy. All right, I'll make sure you guys can see that. Right, let's dig into here. stickers I love stickers some apex stickers badland and that is a beefy hook remote looks like it could be oh yeah it's wired and wireless very nice Get your remote cable Fair lead. 
I got the Apex, the 12,000 with the synthetic, synthetic rope. Wire covers, or cable covers. Get this mounted to this, and then I'll be back shortly. All right, well there we have it. Badland Apex 12,000 pound winch installed. Got to get a battery for it, but mount came out nice. Looks really good. All right, we got the winch mounted. I uh, got everything done that I expected to get done today. So that'll about wrap it up. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Appreciate you guys very much. See you on the next one.